be chill, you can do this Ask the questions Confidence, we got this, okay Excuse me Hi um, I am so, so sorry to bother you I know you must be super busy right now And I'm sure hundreds of people come up to you Every single time you're out uh, whew, Sorry, is it hot out here? <laughs> Some might argue that I am your biggest fan <laughs> And I am, um, I, I couldn't help myself, I wanted to come over and say hi I seen you walk into the restaurant and I died a little bit So I'm just a little, <laughs> a little nervous, sorry Oh yes, um, I'm Kate, nice to meet you, I already know who you are <laughs> Who doesn't, you know, <laughs> yeah Are you sure you don't mind? I, I don't want to intrude. I'm sure you're very busy. Looks like you're doing some paperwork or going over a new script. Okay, well, I do not want to bother you and your craft and your work. Are you sure? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll sit for a sec. Sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, um, if you don't mind, I would love to take a photo with you if that's okay. If you're not feeling very, you know, picturesque today, that's okay as well, but I would capture this memory. I never thought this would happen. Okay, are you sure? Okay. <laughs> okay, and then I also um, have some questions. I kind of carry them around with me because, you know, I obviously knew we lived in the same town. I mean, Los Angeles, of course. Um, and I carry questions that I've always wanted to ask you with me just in case I were to ever run into you. And I guess today's the day. I mean, I never thought it would actually happen, but you know. Picture and then, um, if you don't mind, I can ask you some questions. Oh my gosh, everyone says you're like so nice and so down to earth, and I can see what people are talking about. I mean, I already kind of assumed you were, you're like perfect. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's take a picture. Okay, and you could just do whatever pose you like, whatever you do, you just always look so good, anyway. So, whatever, you know. Okay, ready? Okay, three. Maybe one more. Okay. Three, two, one. What do you think? Cute, right? I mean, we look really good together. You think so too? Oh my gosh, stop. Okay, it's hot out here. It is hot. Are you hot or is it just me? I mean, maybe it's you. I mean, obviously it's you. Sorry, okay. <clears throat> So, question time. So, I don't usually act like this. It's just, uh, okay, to be a little, you know, transparent. You've been my celebrity crush for, like, almost five years now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, um, it's, like, an honor to be in your presence. It's, like, being in the presence of, like, an actual Greek god or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can just go back to sipping on your smoothie. What did you get, by the way? No way, I love peanut butter Yeah, we have so much in common We're both humans We both breathe We both love peanut butter Right? <laughs> I mean, it's amazing <laughs> Okay <laughs> So first question um, Starting off a little strong This isn't necessarily like questions that I want to know What's like your other fans? You know, I'm kind of a part of like some fan clubs and stuff It's more so things that they want to know Totally not me Like I could, I don't care, you know Just, I'm trying to give the people what they want mm, Okay First question Do you have a girlfriend? Or boyfriend? Or anyone? Okay Kind of just looking and waiting for the right person Do you, uh, want a girlfriend? If the opportunity presents itself and it feels right Okay, well this is feeling pretty right so far I mean, what do you think? Really? <laughs> you are just making me blush 
when you're very like romantic and charismatic on screen, but off screen, goodness, I can't even look at you without getting super red and whew, flustered. Okay, <clears throat> next question. What's your type? Maybe like brunette? You know. You do like brunettes? Really? Maybe like 5'3"? That sounds like me. You're like describing me to a T. Okay. <laughs> I can't even. Okay, let's just move on to the next question before I actually explode. Okay. Next question. What is your favorite project that you've done? I know you also dabble in some music, so it could be your music or the movies that you've worked on. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. That was one of my favorites. I mean, the very first movie you've ever done is probably my all-time favorite of yours because I'm just a sucker for a little bit of romance. And, I mean, seeing you in, like, that romantic light just awakened things in me. Hmm. Anyway... <laughs> So that would be your favorite project of all time, you'd say? Understandable. That was amazing. I mean, your performance in that was almost surreal. <laughs> you know, everything you've worked on, just incredible, but I can see why that's your favorite. I also heard that you got really close with the other cast members as well. And the director. I mean, the director is incredible. I mean, she's directed so many of my favorite movies, so... Yeah, you guys together. It was just like the perfect mix. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. So many good ones. Very, very, very talented. And um, it seems like she really connects with the people that she's working with. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay. Good to know. All right. Next question. What is the funniest memory? If you can recall one, I know that can be a little hard, that you've made while working. Just something you can think back on and kind of laugh at. No way. They spilled everywhere and you slipped over <laughs> that's like <laughs> that is literally like a cartoon I can see it in my head you know when they like slip on the banana peels <laughs> a video of you oh my gosh I feel like they would use that as blackmail <laughs> no bruised oh my gosh I understand that I bruise super easily I get it from my mom I've always bruised super so I get that. You still have the bruise. Let me see. Oh my gosh. And it was what, like two months ago? And you still have it? I mean, it looks like it's fading a little bit at least. Oh my gosh. That's actually super funny. Let me write that down. That's insane. Really? So you like couldn't go in without them bringing it up? like them. Uh, well, I haven't met any of the other people in the cast. I'm trying to think. I mean, living in LA, we constantly like see celebrities walking around. Um, and you know, especially at these little trendy like coffee shops and lunch spots. But um, I don't think I've ever seen any of the other cast members, but they seem super funny. I know they play like funny characters. So deep down, they probably have a really good sense of humor. Yeah. You definitely do. You mean you've got everything. You're funny, you're smart, <sighs> otherworldly, you know. Oh, anyway. <laughs> hot, hot, hot in here. Okay. I guess out here. Alright, next question. Would you date a fan? You would. If it felt right. Oh my gosh. Not a lot of celebrities would say the same. I feel like they mostly think that their fans are like crazy and 
would stalk them and, you know, a lot of crazy things like that. And maybe be too, I guess, sort of obsessive and infatuated rather than genuinely in love or trying to create a genuine connection, you know what I mean? I would try to create a genuine connection with you, so, um, you know, if you're ever looking for a fan to date, well, <laughs> I'm your girl. I could be your girl. You are just naturally like a flirt and stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Next question. Next question. I can't handle this. <clears throat> what would you be doing if you didn't take this route? Just filling in that last question. Forgot I wrote to write. Mm-hmm. Really? So you're into like painting and stuff like that? Wow, oh my gosh. I just keep learning new things about you. That's amazing. Do you have any work that you could show me? Maybe like stuff you've taken pictures of? Oh. Really? You want my number so you can show them to me? You, you want to put your... <laughs> your number in my phone and, like, text me? Yeah, sure. That's, like, totally cool. Oh my gosh. What does it feel like when you're about to pass out? Because <laughs> I feel like that could be happening, potentially. Here you go. Uh, here's my phone. Yeah. You could just go ahead and put your number into it. Oh my gosh, this is actually happening. Am I? I don't think I'm dreaming. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I can't believe this is actually happening. So, so, so you, you, yeah, you'll just text me later. Oh my gosh. Okay. No one's gonna believe this. Oh my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, does being famous have more pros or cons? I can see that big privacy type of thing, right? You kind of feel like you can't really do anything a normal person could do, which I guess could be cool, but also maybe a little exhausting and draining, constantly being in the public eye and being perceived by people. Yeah, you know, I always see um, celebrities who kind of get painted in a bad light because they get painted as rude or something. Maybe if there was an interaction they had where it seemed like they were you know, a bit off, but it's like, could you imagine? I mean, I guess you could imagine because you're literally living it, but everything I've seen of you, you've always been so gracious and kind, but celebrities are people too. You know, they're going to have their off days. There's going to be days where they don't feel like taking a picture or maybe they're irritated, everything went wrong, and they're having a bad day. Maybe they'll take it out on someone a little, but I think it's so sad that they kind of get bashed for it. It depends on obviously what they did, but if someone just was a little bit off, I don't think they should necessarily get so much hate for it. You know, they're people too. Could you imagine not being able to, well, I keep saying could you imagine as if you're not an actual celebrity and have to deal with this all the time, but I guess it's because everything I've seen of you has just been completely like, you know, you're just very down to earth and kind, and even if you've had a super busy day, you're just always so sweet. So I guess I feel like it doesn't even apply to you, but you are an actual celebrity, so you get it. I'm also just nervous, so I don't really know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, next question. Thank you. That was a really beautiful answer. Definitely, yeah. There's a lot of pros. You know, you're living out your dream and getting recognition for something that you love and something that you're passionate about. So, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, next question. What is your dream date? Like, if you could just think in your mind, your ideal dream date, would it be a beach picnic, um, an arcade date, anything? Sunset beach picnic. Okay. Mental note. Mm. With, like, a little charcuterie board. Okay. Oh, wow. That sounds beautiful. 
in like a nice little night swim that sounds like an amazing first day I would love to do that me too I love the beach it's like my happy place <laughs> I know I'm constantly there I think I always see photos of you as well kind of just you surf and stuff right sometimes that's amazing wow <laughs> I would love to do that I'm making a mental note of that right now Mm, I can just see it now, you know, you're laying on the warm sand or maybe a nice blanket, you know, obviously over the sand Charcuterie board has like strawberries and chocolate and crackers and honey and all of the yummy fruits, all of the delicious treats You know, you spend most of sunset just talking about your life, your fears, your worries, your dreams and aspirations and then you get closer and closer and then you go for a nice a night swim That sounds like a dream I mean, especially with you Okay, next question I kind of keep forgetting to write things down Because you're just making me a little nervous But, um, who is your dream person to work with? You know, is there any other actor or musician Who you just are like It would be a dream come true To be in your presence and work with you I can see that I think you guys would work beautifully together. Wow. I didn't expect that answer. That's amazing. I did just see their newest movie. It's super trendy, too. I keep seeing edits of it all over TikTok. <laughs> okay, perfect. I love that. That's beautiful. I wasn't expecting that answer, but I can really see you guys working side by side really well. Like, bouncing off of each other really well. I'm sure everyone would love to see you guys together on screen. <laughs> Next question. Do you want to get married? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not actually proposing to you. It's cute that you said yes, but um, I'm not actually proposing to you. I was just asking if you want to get married. You know, that's going to come later. I mean, it could happen now because I would propose to you now, but I think some people might deem that as a little bit crazy and moving too fast. <laughs> that was funny. Eventually, okay, so if you find the right person I can see that the thought of marriage can be beautiful, but also a little nerve-wracking because you know Commitment and stuff is Can be a little scary because feelings fluctuate and change I, mean, I don't think my feelings would ever change if I were with you, but you know people, you know, it can happen so And there's a really high divorce rate But I don't think that would be the case if I wouldn't marry you. I would just treasure you and value you, honestly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next question. Almost done here. It's the last question, pretty much, but I have one more little question after this. Okay. Favorite movie and song. So what's, like, your favorite movie of all time and your favorite song of all time? I've always been curious. That is a good movie. I actually just watched that a couple nights ago with my girlfriends. Mm -hmm. We did it as like a little Valentine's Day type of movie. It's beautiful. Always makes me cry at the end, though. Mm -hmm. It doesn't get enough recognition, I feel like. It's such a beautiful movie. Okay. And your favorite song? You have good taste in literally everything, but are we surprised? No. <laughs> that is a beautiful song. Okay, perfect. All right. So the last question. You know that dream date you were talking about earlier? How would you like uh, if I took you out and we recreated it? Really? I wasn't actually expecting you to say yes. <sighs> uh, okay, that feeling of where I'm gonna like pass out is happening again. Ooh, okay, I need a water. Uh, one water, please. Thank you. And like a huge bucket of ice. <sighs> yeah, thanks. Uh, okay, yeah. Like really? Okay, um, I was not expecting that to actually happen. 
I would, uh, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. I mean, you seem incredible just talking to you now. Sometimes I keep forgetting that you're this famous celebrity. Kind of just feels like I'm talking to someone that I've known for years. You just have this safe disposition about you. I love it. Okay, um, well, I have your number, so, um, I could just text you. You can let me know when you're free. I know you have some stuff coming up. I'm sure it's a pretty busy week for you, but, um, I'd love to plan that. Okay. A hug? Oh, God. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice to meet you, too. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. I should let go now. Sorry. Um. It was uh, really nice to meet you. I'll let you get back to your work and I'll send you a text, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna go get that water and that ice because, oh goodness, system failing a little bit. <laughs> so many emotions. Okay, well, it was really nice to meet you. Um, I'll text you. Okay, it was amazing and such an honor to talk to you. Thank you again so much.